Hi, my name is Roberto Vasquez. I'm the Intermodal Drake Planner. I've been at Paper Transport, Transport for about three and a half years. I served seven and a half years in the United States Marine Corps, and my job was a logistical embarkation specialist, so this was my field. Where did you serve the majority of your time in service? Um, I served all over. I spent the most time though at Camp Lejeune and in Green Bay, Wisconsin. My, my dad and my brother were both truck drivers, so just kind of, it just came natural. It just something that I wanted to do. Were there any skills you acquired during your military experience that made you feel well prepared for a career in trucking? Well, the teamwork aspect of working with different departments and making sure everyone does their job to, for the greater goal of completing the mission. I was in the Marine Corps, so I mean, honor, courage, commitment, those things that stick with you once you're in the service and you carry on for the rest of your life. It's something that is branded in you. I mean, it, you earned that title. Hi, I'm Dave Dunst. Uh, I've been here at PTI for about eight years. I'm the IT manager. Uh, and from a military perspective, I spent 21 years in the Army National Guard with multiple deployments. I did deployments to Guatemala and Iraq, uh, but I bounced around. I spent a lot of the service here in Wisconsin with the Wisconsin National Guard, but did quite a few different trainings all throughout the United States. I kind of fell into transportation. I actually started in transportation back at Schneider auditing driver logs back when they were just manual logs as a part-time job. Uh, and it just morphed into, I really enjoyed the challenge of transportation and so stayed with it. How did or does your military experience affect your life today? I'd say the biggest one for me is recognizing the first world problems that we have in the United States. Uh, what we consider a big deal. Oh, I didn't get a fresh coffee this morning, right? You know, just recognizing when you spend enough time in the military and you've gone places and you've seen third world countries and how some people have to live. And then you recognize, oh yeah, you know, my coffee machine's broke this morning, so I didn't get a fresh coffee this morning. That's really a first world problem, right? Versus I literally have no food. Um, I think that's really the biggest thing the military's taught me. But it's also taught me a level of respect for anyone and everyone. You learn in the military that every individual is critical to the mission, no matter what their job is. Yeah, it feels like sometimes that payroll coach job really isn't important, right? Or sometimes it feels like the coach job isn't important. But if that payroll person's not there, you don't get paid. If the cook's not there, you don't get fed. And it's that same thing in transportation. Hi, my name is Steve Wolf. Um, I've uh, been with Paper Transport for just over 20 years now. Started as a driver here with Paper Transport and uh, recently in the last couple of years moved over to an orientation manager. I'm also a safety manager for a couple small fleets. Um, served in the United States Marine Corps, uh, eight from 88 to 92. Where did you serve the majority of your time in service? Majority of my time was actually over in the mainland of Japan, just outside of uh, Hiroshima. I did a little bit of time over in Camp Pendleton in California. Spent about two and a half years over in Japan and then finished up the last uh, 10 months or so over in uh, Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. After your time in service, how did you choose transportation? It took me a while. It took me a while. I, um, after, after I got out, I bounced around to a couple of different jobs, but I always gravitate back to this. Uh, my grandfather was a driver. I always enjoyed the driving thing, uh, getting out, just being independent, doing my own thing. And um, I eventually just kind of looked at it, had a CDL through a job that I was working and uh, decided to take it on the road and do over the road driving. How did or does your military experience affect your life today? Again, I think uh, Dave probably summed it up pretty well right there. You know, it, it, you do learn a certain level of responsibility, a certain level of respect for those that you work with. Um, and, and I think there's also that whole idea of the team aspect, the team player and everything. You have to, you don't have to have your finger on the pulse of everything that's going on. You have to trust that all the individual teams that are working with you have their stuff, have their thing going on and have it done right. 
My name is Matthew Powell. I am currently on the extended team for the uh, driver support specialist for the after hours crew here. Uh, before that, I was a driver for PTI, so I've been at PTI for going on about a year now, year and a half now. And what branch of the military were you a part of and how long did you serve? Uh, I was in the uh, Air Force, so I did seven years active and I did five in the reserve, so 12 years total. Where did you serve the majority of your time in service? I was going to be in Valdosta, Georgia. So I was at Moody Air Force Base down there in Valdosta, Georgia is where I spent the majority of my time. Okay. After your time in service, how did you choose transportation? Uh, honestly, it's because my dad was a truck driver. Um, I actually, I went in and I worked in a cubicle for a little while uh, when I first got out and I couldn't be constricted into that cubicle. So what really changed that was, uh, was was going to get my CDL and, and, and working my way through that. When you got your CDL, did you do a program that allowed you to do that through the military? Uh, yes, uh, not really through the military, but I used my GI Bill to, to get my, uh, my CDL. Okay, were there any skills that you acquired during your military experience that made you feel well prepared for a career in trucking? <laughs> uh, do what's gotta get done. Uh, at the end of the day, you have that load that's got to get to where it's got to get to, and you got to be that person that gets it there. Uh, you know, obviously doing it is safe, but at the end of the day, that drive, that push that you that you get, that, that you learned in the service, um, always, you know, works out to your advantage when, when getting the job done in transportation. And how does your military experience affect your life today? Uh, well, it got me where I'm at now. So, uh, just with the leadership qualities that you that you obtain while you're in the service, uh, even if you're even if you don't make it to be that non-commissioned officer, I think the biggest biggest factor on that is is, is you're still a leader, um, even though uh, you're not on paper. So I think that being able to to get those skills to learn to lead um, in the in the long run is, is really those skills that I use uh, that I use today to get things done don't treat people terribly things like that is, is ultimately what it was hi I'm Emily driver recruiter here at PTI I wanted to start off by thanking our veterans for their service I served myself in the Army National Guard for nine years as a truck driver for the majority of my time in the service I was in a unit um, that supported the infantry the military has definitely left a long lasting impression on my civilian life as well as my professional life. It has taught me to appreciate the small stuff, embrace change, gaining perspective and finding that inner strength to keep trucking. I'm excited to announce that we offer a military apprenticeship program. As a veteran, you'll be able to use your earned GI Bill to help pay for your CDL school of your choice, followed by a three week accelerate program where you'll be compensated for your time in school as well as competitive pay in the industry. If you're looking for more information on this, please visit our website at www.drive4pti.com. Thank you and have a great day.